some of our Bible verses that we've been working on. Do you remember what we've been working on? Hmm? All right. Can you help me say Psalm 145.3? Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised, and His greatness is I want to hear you say it, Jazz, okay? Put your hands down. You ready? Let's try that one more time, okay? Psalm 145.3 Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and His greatness is unsearchable. Sis, can you say Ephesians 6.1? Okay, Jasmine, can you say it? Ephesians 6.1-3? Okay, we'll try as best as you can. Honor your father and mother, 
This is the first commandment with a promise, that you may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. That's the hard part. Mm -hmm. What about Psalm 122 1? Can you say that one? Yeah. Okay. Good. And can you do Luke 19 10? Yeah. Okay. Good job, Jazz. Good job. All right. Can we do some of our questions? Let's try Who made you? What else did God make? <coughs> what? All things. And why did God make you in all things? And how can you glorify God? Good. And why ought you to glorify God? Because made me and hey. Are there more than one God? No, there is only one God. In how many persons does this one God exist? Who are they? Good job. All right. Well, we're going to go back to our Bible. And we're going to read what we read the other day. We read John, the Gospel of John. We're going to, now we're going to read from the beginning of Luke. This is a little passage about Christmas time. You listen, okay? This is an important time. Listen. Because I'm going to ask you some questions. Inasmuch as many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the things that have been accomplished among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word have delivered them to us. It seemed good to me, also having followed all things closely for some time past, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, that you may have certainty concerning the things you have been taught. Okay. So he's writing in the telling. Charles Spurgeon. No. Here's my Bible up, boy. Well, it's the kind of stuff that happens. <laughs> so don't do that again, okay? Ready? Luke 1. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the division of Abijah. And he had a wife from the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Uh -huh. And they were both righteous before God, walking blameless in all the commandments and stature of the Lord. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and was both advanced in years. They were very old, and they wanted a baby, and they didn't have one. Why? What do you think is going to happen? Old. Now, while he was serving as priest before God, when his division was on duty, According to the custom of the priesthood, he was chosen by lot to enter the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And the whole multitude of the people were praying outside at the hour of incense. And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And Zechariah was troubled when he saw him, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. And your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. Did you hear what happened? The angel, the angel said, you're going to have a baby, Zechariah, and you're going to name his name, what are you going to name him? John. John. I'm going to name him John. <laughs> <laughs> then he says, and you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, but he will be great before the Lord. But he must not drink wine or strong drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, Charles, now, to make ready for the Lord a people prepared. And Zechariah said to the angel, how shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife has advanced for years. And the angel answered him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I will send to speak to you and bring you this good news. And behold, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things take place, because you do not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. 
And the people were waiting for Zechariah, and they were wondering had his delay in the temple. And when he came out, he was unable to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the temple. And he kept making signs to them and remained mute. And his time of services ended, he went home to, went to he went to his home. And after these days, his wife Elizabeth conceived. So did you hear what happened? The angel said to Zechariah, "You're going to have a son. His name's going to be John." And he's going to be helping lead people to Jesus. John is going to be Jesus' cousin. Did you know that? And then Zechariah didn't believe him. How would he name their baby John Mark? John Mark. And then, did Zechariah believe the angel? No. And so does the angel do it? It made him so he couldn't talk. Until, he, until the baby was born as a sign. Mm-hmm. Now, John, Charles, whatever your name is, <laughs> it's time to suffer for it all of you. Let's say our prayer, okay? You want to say a prayer, Charles? Can we pray? Let's put our hands together. Jazz, would you like to pray for us? Sis? Sis, you would like to pray. Okay, Daddy will pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all that you've given us. Thank you for your word. God, thank you for sending John who led the way and turned people's hearts to Jesus. And thank you for sending Jesus, most importantly, God, to save us from our sins. I pray, God, you'd help us to to have a good rest this evening. And and God, that you'd be honored in all that we do. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.